Well, the world tour is a, a kind of fun thing, but as Michael wrote in the forward in the catalogue, I'm a hoarder. I rarely throw things out. And over the years, and I'm saying these go back over 20 years, people have been kind enough to bring me posters from the national galleries all over the, the world. See, I'm a war, war baby, so it's sort of a waste not, want not. And I was working on some I images. All these are acry acrylic on paper. So I had some uh, paint left on the palette, and I thought, oh, it's a bit of a waste. So it just struck me, just on a whim, to paint over an image on one of the posters to see how mine would look with the National Gallery of wherever. I think the lettering frames the posters very well, but it gives that kind of authentic, you've arrived. And I didn't want to wait for anybody else, so it became an obsession with me to, to who do my travel my work, travel all over the world without leaving this studio. It's a superb collection. When I first seen a few of them, I don't know how many years ago I wanted to put on this exhibition. And uh, Neil is a lovely man to work with and uh, he agreed to me quite recently that he would let me curate this and uh, done a deal with him and he's been very, very supportive. I love it. I love it. Michael heard of these many, many years ago and was very enthusiastic that I continue. And the irony of, of, of it, that evening, the image I painted was the better one of the, what we've been doing before, this kind of relaxed way. And I think throughout the, uh, there are as good images in this exhibition that I've ever painted. I'm a great storyteller. I love stories. Neil said something about children. Neil's not a child, but he loves children's art. One of the best collections that I know of. The man who put it together never ever bought a painting without consulting his children. If he asked his wife, how much, how much is it? <laughs> that sort of thing. The children have no interest in that. They talk about the art itself. And that's what I think. These, there's every one of them has a response. Not the same response with each picture, but you take your own response from each individual picture. The, I've been associated with teaching, well I've, I taught in the university with adult students, but I've always had a great interest in child art and I'm known to have visited many many schools and talked to them and wor worked with young children and I worked at the Lyric Theatre for nearly 25 years working with their young people in their drama school on the artistic side and my work has been greatly influenced by the children. Well there are certainly more posters uh, that I have been painting over but that's up to Michael. I think Michael has done a fantastic job. It's, it's miraculous. He's created this, this space that was pretty derelict. This took me, this show was uh, uh, over 20 years. 
Michael's creation has just been the last two weeks. I mean, he, he, he bites the bullet and goes for it. And I, this is as good for me as it has ever been. But it's all due to Michael and the faith he has in me. Visitors attending the exhibition now over the next few weeks, what do you expect them to take away from this exhibition? I'd love them to get great pleasure from around and excited about the images, maybe learn a little more about painting if they come with an open mind, it'll, it'll, it'll reach them. You've got to keep an open mind about things.